Hey, hey everybody, it's Eddie from Tokyo. This is your cryptocurrency update from Japan. It is Monday, the 9th of April, 2018. And uh, <laughs> as usual, there's a lot going on. So this story just broke about four hours ago and it says that the Japanese regulator suspends two crypto exchanges over KYC failings. KYC is, of course, know your customer. And uh, they have ordered two cryptocurrency exchanges in the country to halt their operations for two months due to insufficient know your customer procedures. So effective immediately, the temporary ban will last until June 5th and June 7th respectively for Eternal Link and FSHO. Eternal Link is uh, an exchange that is in Yokohama which is just south of Tokyo, and it started in August of 2017, so they're fairly new. And FSHO is in Nagoya, I believe. And if I remember correctly, FSHO was, was also suspended back in March, so they're still struggling with, with meeting the uh, criteria that the Financial Service Agency has outlined. Um, the lack of anti-money laundering efforts on the part of the exchanges does not comply with the Act on Prevention of Transfer of Criminal Proceeds, the agency said. So it looks like not only know your customer, but also they have a lack of anti-money laundering efforts. And separately, the penalty order to the eternal link also indicates that the firm had violated laws in Japan by using deposits for customers to pay for company expenses, even if temporarily. So, uh, you know, I don't like to hear this because uh, we just have to wonder how many other exchanges are using the money inappropriately. Um, it says that the FSA has been stepping up its efforts to inspect domestic cryptocurrency exchanges regarding their business operation loopholes after the heist that saw 500 million worth of NEM tokens stolen from the CoinCheck exchange. Well, you know, I was asked by a subscriber to do a story on what the fallout was from Mt. Gox, and no doubt this the FSA uh, is coming um, with their soft hand approach, um, not only because of CoinCheck, but also because of Mt. Gox. And every time I go to do a story on what I think the fallout is, some other new um, monster raises its head in terms of that saga. And uh, I keep on thinking, well, I got to wait and see how this shakes out because that story just doesn't want to die. All right, let's go to, oh, this is the FSA. Oh, I'm sorry, this is Eternal Link's website and they have a, message to all of their customers that they have been uh, ordered to uh, suspend. Uh, they have a suspension order. So, you know, I'm sorry for those people in that exchange. It's just, I'm sure, very hard for them. And, um, you know, they're probably going to lose many of their customers if, if they do get back open again, uh, which is, you know, just a shame, but I, I'm, I'm happy in many ways that the FSA is making sure that we are all in a safe environment. Okay, I am always sharing with you some great places to get your information in the cryptocurrency space, and here is another one. This is Invest in Blockchain. Invest in Blockchain is one of the fastest growing websites in the cryptocurrency and blockchain space. Founded in September of 2017 by Daniel Bainbridge and Michael Henman. Michael is in Tokyo, Japan. Uh, their core value is to provide accurate and useful information with cryptocurrency investors from beginners to experts. And we believe it is paramount for all investors to educate themselves before investing. Well, they, it's, they have a really great lineup of contributors. This is Michael here, and he is the co-founder of this particular website. He just came back to Tokyo from Chiang Mai. He was in Tokyo, and then he went to Chiang Mai, which if you don't know, that's in Thailand. And boy, is that a hotbed for IT 
nomads. Um, the person who introduced me to Bitcoin back in 2013, he is a Berlin, Tokyo, Chiang Mai nomad. And it's just a very um, happening place for people to to work who can um, go anywhere in the world with just a computer under their arm. So here is their um, management team and contributors. They are from all over the world. And the great thing is, is that all of them have either um, firsthand experience of working in the space or they are cryptocurrency enthusiasts. And uh, that's just great because you know, unlike uh, Bloomberg or CNBC or Reuters or any of those other ones where you get a staff writer who isn't really into cryptocurrency, um, these guys write to the audience who are also enthusiasts. And it's at a little deeper level, I found. And I find that it's a little more interesting, too, than some of the... Um, rehashed articles that we see that float over and over on all the other aggregated sites of news. So this is a little bit special. Okay, I'll put the link down in the comment section for you. Um, here's a picture of Michael Henman. He's originally from Nova Scotia in Canada. And look at his dog. Oh my gosh, that's just so cute. This is an article about why he um, chose to, to go nomadic and the article is fun to read, and he talks about, um, yeah, how his how he funds his lifestyle, what projects he's working on, and uh, some tips to anyone who as, um, aspires to earn money online and travel. So you know, I follow a guy on the Arcane Bear, and he is, I think, very much fitting this you know, this profile of being an IT nomad. So yeah, I, I wish I could do it. Um, well, let's see. I wanted to talk about the top money jobs in Tokyo because um, I just don't want to forget that we are in the middle of a shortage. Well, I can't find my tab that I had. We are in a shortage of qualified and skilled uh, software engineers in the cryptocurrency space. And I think it's um, in the CNBC article from yesterday, they, uh, they sourced the ministry uh, say if in Japan um, saying that we are going to be short 50,000 people in the space to keep up with the demand and technology. So, hey, I'm doing a shout out again. I did one yesterday, but I'm doing it again to all of the engineers and developers in the world. If you want to come live in Japan, I don't want to see us lose our, our position of being one of the leaders in this space. So um, we need you. Please come to Japan. And I'll make it a little interesting for you and show you some of the salaries that you can get. You know, the salaries are actually up, according to that CNBC article, 20 to 30 percent. So, yeah, uh, if you want to be a C++ developer, you can make about $240,000 a year. That's in U.S. dollars. Uh, if you want to do uh, bilingual crypto FX equity securities, you're going to make three hundred thousand U.S. dollars per year. Uh, if you want to, let's see if I can find something else that's just you can't refuse. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> this this group um, specializes in. Uh, fintech, Bitcoin, FX security, banks, hedge funds, private banks, etc. So they are topmoneyjobs.com. I'll put the link down in the comment section. Um, but you don't always have to be bilingual here because this space is is in in Japan. Um, it's one of the you know rare spaces that you know, speaking English only does work. So. Uh, yeah, I just want to make sure that if anybody wants to try Japan, you know, Japan either sucks you in or sucks you or it spits you out. And um, 
if it sucks you in, it'll never let you go because this is such a great city. Um, even um, Michael, who was in Tokyo and then went to Chiang Mai, he's back in Tokyo again. And he is, you know, I, I know... I know the reasons, uh, despite the high rents, I know the reasons why he is back in Tokyo. So, okay. Let's look at the blockchain Daigaku. You, This is a company that has created an educational platform um, by a gentleman by the name of Jonathan Underwood. He is the blockchain university president, college president and representative director. Um, they are in the space to not educate um, only developers, but entrepreneurs and people in the space that are going to use blockchain technology. And uh, I just think that this is, you know, I just want to call attention to his efforts because this is going to help us in um, staying competitive and keeping everybody's skill set up to up to par. When we look at Jonathan's LinkedIn, uh, I found something interesting. He has a great bio, but I want to take a look here. He's a cryptocurrency certified um, through the consortium here with his license number. So he's a certified Bitcoin professional. What is that? Oh, let me tell you. So you can also become certified. There are actually three certifications. There is the Certified Bitcoin Professional, Certified Bitcoin Expert, or a Certified uh, Ethereum Developer. So let's just go to the professional and just see what kind of information it provides. Uh, you can get certified if you know, it would benefit you if you are an accountant or controller, sales and marketing professional, uh, teacher, educator, entrepreneur, IT professional, call center representative, project manager, anyone who uses Bitcoin in their daily lives. I think that even some of these content providers on YouTube could do quite well taking this course. And the exam is not that much money. Um, it's, I think, only $99, and then you also have an application fee of $34.99. But you're going to cover things like the history of money and ledger-based economics, basic cryptography, Bitcoin basics, mining, wallets, clients, and key management, and Bitcoin commerce. Um, and then you can read the lines in between um, for the details. I think it's really useful. And there is a guide here, and I'll put this link in too. It'll give you the bullet points as to what to study so that you can pass the exam. Um, I think you can self-study. Absolutely, I think you can self-study. And one of the other places they suggested to get some of your um, skills up to par before you take the exam is Udemy. And Udemy, as you know, I love this site. There is a course that's free, and it was created by Charles Hoskinson. He's a Colorado-based technology entrepreneur and mathematician. He attended Metropolitan State University of Denver and University of Colorado at Boulder to study number theory and mathematical logic prior to moving into cryptography via the industry exposure. So I have signed up. I'm going to take it. I just discovered it. Uh, I'll let you know how it is, but no doubt it it's going to be... Um, good and I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, I hope that all of you take the course as well. All right, that's all I have for you today. Don't forget about the great site that I found for news because uh, you will find the stories are deep and uh, juicy when it comes to the crypto space. And that is this one here, Invest in Blockchain. I'm not associated, just a fan. Okay, everybody take care and thank you for listening.
Sayonara for now. Bye-bye.